Some say love is a winding road Cause a map through the darkest night Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today's Thursday. It's September 28th. It's literally 2 o'clock. I'm still in the same outfit that I wore this morning on my little morning walk. I actually want to show you because I love this vest. I got it not too long ago from Aritzia. It's this really pretty deep like emerald color. I'm pretty sure it's Sunday best, not TNA, but I wore this because it was pretty chilly this morning and I needed to get up, go for a walk, get some sunlight. That's been my new thing in the morning. So I wore this on my walk and then I went with my mom and my brother to go visit my little brother at his school. I say this quite frequently, but since a lot of new people are here subscribing to my channel, which thank you, I love you. My little brother is special needs and he lives at a residential home. So his school is like 45 minutes away. So we usually go and visit him multiple times throughout the week and see him and visit him. So we did that. Then we got some lunch together and now I'm back home. I'm so excited. I ordered the new Rode um, peptide lip tints. They're so pretty. I can't wait for them to come in the mail. I'm surprised they're not sold out yet. I bought them right when they launched at 12. It was 9 a.m. California time, but 12 p.m. here and they're still available, which is kind of crazy, but I'm so excited. I figured I would just get the whole pack of them. I wasn't really too crazy about this color, but I feel like I'll use it anyways. So I just decided to get the whole little lip kit. I'm so excited. I can't wait for them to come in the mail. I'm so in love with these colors. Also, their marketing skills are just so on point and it makes you want to buy them. Just everything about them just makes you, like it makes you want to eat it, honestly. Looking at all of these pictures, I think I'm most excited for this shade. I think it's called Toast. But I wanted to start a new vlog. I figured I would do a little weekend vlog, weekend in my life. I haven't done one of those in a while. And it's Thursday, so it's not technically the weekend, but I figured I would start a new vlog because tonight I'm going to an event, which I figured I would bring you guys along with me because I'm always at home. I never go out anywhere, which you guys know I'm such a homebody. It's like this grand opening for this restaurant called Moxie's and Mark Wahlberg actually made a tequila brand. I feel like every celebrity has a tequila brand. I don't know why that's the go-to tequila, but he is like launching his tequila brand at this restaurant and they're just opening in Seaport in Boston. So I'm going to that later. I'm taking my friend Bella with me, which if you guys scroll all the way back on my YouTube channel, which please don't, but you can if you want. She's in my like first ever YouTube video. She helped me film my first ever YouTube video, which was crazy. So she's been in my life for quite a while. So I'm going with her to that later. I figured I would start a new vlog so you guys can see it should be fun. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I just hit 10,000 subscribers, which is so crazy. Sorry, my camera isn't focusing, but I hit 10,000 this morning or last night and I'm so happy and I'm so excited and I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos for everyone who comments on my videos like it never goes unnoticed and it truly just makes me the happiest person so thank you so much that was a nice little surprise to wake up to this morning but I need to take a shower soon I kind of just wanted to wait until later in the day to get ready because the event starts at 7 like 6 45 7 so I figured I would just wait to take my shower but I'm loving this vest I keep looking at it it's so cute and it's very comfy it's like the perfect vest to throw on when it's like chilly but it's not too cold and you don't want to sweat this is like perfect it's so comfy I always get questions on this hat too which I wish I could find a link to this hat because I would so buy another one just in case anything happens to this. I'm always wearing this hat. It's like my number one favorite hat I've ever had. I just love the color, but I got it from this random shop when I was in Arizona and I don't know the name of it, but it's clearly my favorite hat. I'm always wearing it. I'm always taking pictures in it. It's my favorite thing and I always get questions on it. I was trying to look it up too, but I couldn't find anything online but I love this hat so much, clearly. Look at Cheetah right now. If you guys have cats, do they like bury themselves 
like this because Cheeto always likes to be buried in blankets and I think it's the cutest thing. You like to hide under there. Sorry, I'll let you sleep. I took a shower and got ready. I did my makeup. I just kind of slicked my hair back in a little claw clip. I'm gonna switch out my earrings and put on these Jennifer Fisher hoops. I'll show you my full outfit. In the mirror, I'm like obsessed with this jacket. It's so cute. I'm gonna put on my rings and then my perfume of the night is this one from Dossier. This is supposed to be like a dupe for the, what is it, Baccarat Rouge? I think is how you say it, I'm not sure. Just gonna do a few spritzes of this. So my jacket is from Princess Polly. So cute for fall. It's just a faux leather jacket, black long sleeve from Aritzia. And then my jeans are Abercrombie. I think they're just the 90s mom jeans and then I just cut them at the bottom. I'm gonna use this bag from Anthropology. And then for my shoes, Steve Madden little flip-flop peel type things. It's supposed to get chilly, which is why I'm wearing jeans, a jacket, so I think I'll be fine with these. Here's the full outfit in the mirror. So cute, I have so much black and brown on. It's insane, my shoes are black. Jacket is brown, bag is black. And then my little clip is brown. It's a little MEJ clip. I need to order more of these because I only have this one and then a blue one. I need to get like more fall colors, but very cute. I love it. I love the pop of color with my jeans. Pretty casual, but still cute. But Bella's coming from her work and then she's gonna meet me here and then we'll hop on the highway, go to Boston. Hopefully I can find a parking spot. Oh my goodness. Parking in Seaport on a Thursday, that's gonna be a shit show. But that's my outfit. Some say love takes a heavy load Helps someone make the burden light Teaches you not to hold too tight You and I come a long way together Hi vlog, good morning. Saturday morning, 7.30, I just woke up not too long ago. I was trying to sleep in this morning. I don't know why, but I just feel so tired. Yesterday I didn't vlog just because I figured I wasn't really doing much. So I didn't want to bore you guys and vlog. I literally didn't go anywhere yesterday. It was raining all day and I just had a very lazy, chill day yesterday. I got a lot of work done, but this morning when I woke up, I kind of felt the same. I went to bed early last night too at like 10.30 because I knew I felt tired. But I was trying to sleep in this morning and Cheeto, he gets like so annoyed with me if I lay in bed for a while because he just wants me to get up because he's bored. He's literally just staring at me right now like waiting till I get up. You gonna come up and say hi? He just like kept bugging me. He paused me. He paused my face. Sometimes he'll chew my hair and I'm like do you really need me to get up that badly? Like, I went on my phone for a bit, which I shouldn't have done because I've been feeling so anxious. That's another thing too. Yesterday I was feeling super anxious because I was scrolling so much on TikTok. I was on the side of TikTok where it's just talking about everything going on in the world right now and just how everything is so corrupt right now and just, it's honestly very scary and it gives me so much anxiety and I'm like, I need to get off this app. Like, I did a meditation before I went to bed and I was like, I need to just clear my mind. It was, I don't know why it was bugging me so much, but I like felt scared last night. And usually I don't feel that way when I go to sleep. Oh yeah, and the little dinner event was super fun. We got there pretty late, I think a little bit over an hour late. So we didn't get to see Mark Wahlberg, which was very sad because I was very excited to see him. But the event was super fun. They had like a bunch of food going around. They had drinks. It looks like a really nice restaurant. The food was very good. I had a nice time. So if you're looking for a new restaurant to go to in Seaport, they open, I think it's on October 5th. I don't know what's going on with my voice right now, but I'm gonna get up now and make some breakfast. I feel very hungry this morning. I'm also gonna go put in my contacts. I don't like to wear my contacts first thing when I wake up. So I just put my glasses on, but I hate how you can see the reflection 
in my glasses when I vlog. So let's get up and start this Saturday morning. It's another gloomy day outside, which you guys know I love gloomy rainy days. But this time I feel like it's actually making me feel tired. I think it's just like so much going on right now, like personal stuff and just being anxious about the world and just everything is like kind of getting to me. So I think I just feel like mentally drained. I just lit all my fall candles. We're gonna make the gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix this morning from Trader Joe's. I haven't had this this year yet. I fell in love with these pancakes last year. It's the weekend, I feel like pancakes are very appropriate. Forgot I had these in my cabinet because they were kind of tucked away. I was so excited when I saw it. Look how yummy, I just added some berries and maple syrup. I'm actually gonna eat this on the couch while I watch Gilmore Girls. I'm trying to finish it because I haven't finished the show. I'm on season three, I think. So I'm gonna put that on right now and just chill for a little bit while I eat. I'm on season three, episode 22. There's so many episodes in each season, it's crazy. So we're gonna finish this while I eat my pancakes. But the deer population in this town is reaching monstrous proportions. Not this again. It's 10.30. I'm about to head out the door. I realized Cheeto has no dry food left. Um, his automatic feeder was empty. And I went to go in my closet to look for some more food. And I realized he doesn't have any left. So I'm going to run to Target. Because I have a gift card, so I'm gonna get him some more food. I really wanna make chili this weekend, so I'm gonna get like the chili seasoning packets and then probably like a few other things. But I'm just throwing on my free people fleece. I can't stop wearing this. And I've been getting so many questions, so many compliments on it. I also have some Poshmark stuff I need to ship, which by the way, if you wanna go on my Poshmark, I linked, I didn't link, I posted a bunch of stuff on there yesterday. I've been Putting it off for the longest time, I had this huge pile on my floor of clothes in my room. So yesterday I spent a good chunk of my day doing that, organizing everything, getting rid of stuff, making a donation bag. So I have my Poshmark stuff in here. I need to go print a label, get some boxes and everything. And then I also have a donation bag I'll drop off too. I showered, did my skincare. I put a little pimple patch on my cheek right here because I woke up with little pimple on my face and I popped it which I shouldn't have done but I always use the mighty hero patches and they work really well so we got that on my face I got this in a size large by the way they didn't have a medium so I just figured I would get the large that way I can layer it on top of stuff and I love the fit of it it's like perfectly a little bit oversized so I'll have it linked I've been linking it everywhere because everyone is loving it done just walked in the door target was a zoom by the way it's 12 o'clock and the lines were so long like for the regular lines and the self-checkout lines this is why i always go to the stores pretty early in the morning so it's not super crowded i got cheetos food i ended up getting a different food this time usually i got i think it's called like purina naturals or something it's in a green bag but this time i got him this purina one plus it's made with real turkey and helps maintain a healthy weight he's kind of getting a little bit chunky now because he's an adult now and he's kind of putting on more weight i need to fill it right now because he's going insane you want to try a few Go get him. i feel like he was getting sick of that other food too so hopefully he likes it feeder is from Amazon by the way. 
honestly the best i think it's like 70 bucks it was like the best 70 bucks i ever spent because if you're someone who's not home a lot and you're worried about not being able to feed your pet these are so convenient and i have it to go off six times a day which sounds like a lot but they're like really small portions that way he doesn't bug me for food throughout the day i will have it linked below if you are looking to get an automatic feeder just having a little protein drink right now back to the target haul i needed some more toothpaste so i just got a two pack of that and then for the chili i got these siete taco seasoning packets the mild one they didn't have chili packets so I just got this one. I mean, it's like the same thing. I don't like spicy things like at all. So I always get the mild one. Last two things, I picked up some crushed tomatoes. Also for the chili, I don't remember if I have sauce. So I wanted to get a can of this just in case. And then I got another bottle of the stock cold brew pumpkin spice coffee. I've been putting a little bit of this in my chai and I actually really like it. I tried it in a couple vlogs ago. Um, and I already went through the whole thing, which is crazy to me because you guys know I don't like coffee. Any coffee that I do like, it has to be very sugared down and have flavor. That was all I got from Target. Got the post office done, shipped my Poshmark quarters. I'm also realizing I left my candles burning when I was out. So bad, like I always, sometimes I remember and then sometimes I just, forget it goes right over my head I have both my candles lit but luckily nothing happened hi vlog I'm in the bathroom I'm trying to like pull myself together right now because I just had a little bit of a mental breakdown but it's fine I'm like trying to cool my face down because it's so red from crying my eyes are red I'm just like really going through it right now and one of the biggest things that's really bothering me is my Nana is planning on moving into, I think it's called independent living is like the official term for it. Like she's planning on selling the house and everything and she's packing everything up in boxes. I went over her house the other day and was just crying because it all just feels so real now and She's been wanting to do this for a while and every single time it comes down to like the nitty gritty of it, she always backs out because I just think that she truly just doesn't want to move and she's been in this house for like 40 plus years, but she's 90 years old. It's getting hard for her to like go up and down the stairs, um, go grocery shopping, just all of that stuff that comes with getting older and the fact that it's just getting harder and harder for her and there's just some things with her house that she stresses out a lot about, like she gets water in her basement sometimes when it rains and it just, a lot of things are just stressing her out. And so she decided that she really wants to move. This time she's like actually going through with it. She already put a deposit down at the place that she's moving to and just all this stuff. And it's really taking a toll on me because I just want the best for her. And I feel like the reason why she's so, Sorry, I don't wanna cry, but I feel like the reason why she's so independent and is able to do all of these things at 90 years old, like she literally still drives and everyone that meets her is like astonished at how she's 90 years old because she doesn't seem it at all. She's so, she just has the best mindset and I feel like her being so independent and her doing all of those things all the time has helped with that and makes her feel younger and independent and like she can do everything by herself and i just feel like that has helped her so much and i feel like that's what keeps her young and i feel like once she moves to this place you know like they do a lot of things for you she's not going to have to go grocery shopping as much and just like all these little things like it kind of sounds silly as i'm saying it out loud but it's like i just truly want the best for her she's just one of my favorite people on the planet and i love her so much and I just worry that like once she moves to this place that I need to chillax but I just feel like once she moves to this place that she's gonna feel older if that makes sense and that is going to like age her and make her like not live as long I don't know if that makes any sense but I'm just really really stressing out about her because I love my Nana so much. She's just taught me so much and 
my relationship with God is because of her. And I just really want her to live her life to the fullest and live as long as she can and be healthy and happy. I don't know, I just feel like once she moves, she'll be discouraged and won't be able to do as much as she used to. Like she always bakes cookies and just, she does all these little things that I feel like once she moves, she won't do anymore. And I feel like that's what's really going to mentally age her because she's nine years old, but you would never guess that she was 90 years old. And also the house, it's sad because I used to live in that house actually. Like my family and I have lived in that house for a little bit. And obviously it's extremely old. So I feel like whoever buys the house is either going to knock it down, build an entire new house because it's not big, it's very small or they're gonna add on to it or like gut the whole house, completely renovate it. And, and I've always thought to myself like whenever the day comes that she goes and passes away, I just always wanted to keep that house in the family somehow. And now it just feels like that won't happen. Of course I want the best for her. Of course I want her to be happy and be safe, but I just worry about all of these things and I just want her to be here for as long as she can be. But I always just try to think to myself, like everything happens for a reason. Everything is just getting to me recently. Like, I don't know what it is. I just feel very emotional and stressed and anxious. I was talking about this in my last vlog as well. Oh my gosh, my face right now. It just feels wrong of me to like, not explain certain things that go on in my life because it just feels fake to me in a way to just cry and then act like nothing happened. It's kind of like messed up for me in a sense because it just, I feel like it's just me practicing to suppress my emotions rather than be real and be open because obviously YouTube, like there's real people watching me and it really does feel like you guys are my friends and obviously there's certain things that I don't feel comfortable sharing with on the internet but then there are some things that I do feel comfortable sharing with and I know a lot of people struggle with the same thing so it's like I do feel comfortable sharing that and then another part of me is like well what do I not share what do I share like it just gets confusing sometimes but yeah that's like where my mind's at right now I'm trying to just be positive and I'm really trying to be positive for her but it's very hard because I obviously want to express my worries to her but I also don't want to discourage her and like make the process worse for her because I know it's probably extremely stressful for her and very hard for her to do as well. I don't know, I just, if you're going through something, you're not alone. I have been so anxious lately and I'm just trying to work my way through it, journal, do things that make me feel good, ground myself, meditate, all of those things that really help me keep my anxiety levels down, but obviously you can't always control it. But anyways, it's around 2.45. I'm getting really hungry, so I think I'm gonna get started on the chili right now. So I have some chips in my cabinet and I keep thinking about it. Like I said, if you're going through something, I know it's so cliche to say, but you're not alone, I promise you. And I feel like that's so comforting to think about. Like, even if it does feel like you're going through something alone and you don't have a lot of people to talk about it with, just know there's so many people in the world right now going through similar things, going through completely different things, but we're all having the same emotion. And I feel like that's like comforting to think about in a way. Anyways, we're gonna get started on making the chili right now. I have some garbanzo beans, kidney beans, black beans, the crushed tomatoes, my seasoning. I'm gonna do ground turkey. I have a sweet onion and some peppers. But I was calling my mom last night and she made chili the other day and I love the way that she makes her chili. It's so easy, but it's so yummy. And I called her last night. I was like, how do you make your chili? I'm planning on making it tomorrow. So I wrote everything down in my notes. So we're gonna make it right now, but I just put some olive oil in my pot. Just gonna let this heat up for a bit. I'm gonna chop up my onion, put that in there first, and then the ground beef. But I just got this pot in my last vlog. It's the Dutch oven pot from Target and I love it. It literally looks just like the Le Creuset pot and it's so heavy. You can tell it's like really good quality and it was 60 bucks, I think. 
so obviously a lot cheaper than a Laker set pot. But let's chop up the onion and then I'm gonna throw in the ground turkey as well. So this is what it kind of looks like now. I threw in the sauce, my beans. I didn't end up doing the garbanzo beans because the kidney and the black beans are quite enough. I also did frozen corn as well from Trader Joe's, just your average frozen corn. And then I decided I'm not going to do the peppers just because this seems to be enough. Sometimes my mom also puts in brown sugar and honey. So I did a little bit of coconut sugar because I don't have brown sugar and then a little bit of honey and it smells so good. So I'm just going to cover this and let it cook for a bit just so it soaks up all the flavor. I've been cooking it for about an hour. I think I'm going to leave it on the stove for a little bit longer just so it gets all the flavor but I just made myself a bowl because I'm so hungry. I also have these chips from Trader Joe's, veggie and flaxseed corn tortilla chips. I just opened them, they're really good, just to kind of have on the side. I've been doing so much cooking in my vlogs recently, I feel like, and I'm not mad about it. These chips are so good. I'm gonna have to get another bag because I'm gonna go through those pretty quickly. It's so good. You don't have to ask me now and never Cause I'm already yours and you'll always be mine Some say love is a fire that grows Bound to hurt when you let it Some say love is a choice we make A holy vow we should never break And maybe that's just the chance we take Happy Sunday. Also, happy October 1st. The fact that it's October right now blows my mind. It's so strange, but I just took a shower. I did not really Pilates this morning, but I guess kind of like a Pilates recovery class on form, which felt really good to kind of stretch my body, give it some love because I'm so bad at stretching and recovering my muscles. So it felt really good, so I did that this morning. I threw my sheets in the wash because it's Sunday and now I'm just putting on my reusable eye patches. I love these things so much. They make me feel so put together and so bougie. It's 11.30 right now, so we're having a very slow Sunday morning, which we love. I think I'm gonna go make myself a chai right now with that pumpkin coffee that I got at Target for a little pumpkin chai moment. I just like to do a little splash of this. Cheeto came to say hi, of course. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Do a taste test. I always get questions on these cups too. They're from Target. Usually I link them. So I will link them in this vlog too, but they're so cute. They're like perfect size. I don't really have much planned today. I have to do my podcast episode, which I'm probably gonna record that soon to get it done. I also have to edit it because it goes live tomorrow. I didn't do an episode last week just because I needed a little bit of a podcasting break and editing break. So we're getting back on the grind for this week for the new month of October. We finally have some sun today, kind of. It's like sunny, but it's super foggy outside, which I think there's more forest fires in Canada. So all the smoke is just blowing this way and it's super hazy out. Like 
the sky looked crazy this morning i took a picture of it on my phone actually like that doesn't even look real that's what the sky looks like cheetos in his litter box making tons of noise right now of course because i'm filming last night though after i ate my chili all i did was sit on the couch and binge watch gilmore girls i'm on the fourth season now and i think i'm on episode seven i want to say it was just such a lazy day yesterday hi you guys it's a lot later it's literally almost five o'clock i ended up going to lunch with my mom we went to the mall we just spent a little bit of time together because she knows how stressed and anxious i've been so it was nice to see and spend time with her what gino and then i just recorded my podcast got that done so i will edit that later on but i went to abercrombie i got some pairs of jeans and a cute sweater i got two pairs of the same jeans because i didn't know which size i needed i was gonna try them on and the dressing room was absolutely crazy there was such a long line i was like i'm not waiting in this like i have to record my podcast and get some stuff done so I just bought both pairs and then whatever pair I like better, I'll keep and then the other one I'll return. But I got this cute sweater. It's like a little cardigan, cable knit cardigan. I'm gonna try it on. So that's what the cardigan looks like. Very cute for fall. It's a little oversized. I got a size small and it's still pretty loose like around the sleeves. And I love this color. It's so pretty for the fall time. So that's the cardigan. I will link it if you are interested. And then here are the jeans. I think I like this size better. I didn't even try the other ones on yet, but I think I'm gonna end up liking these ones. The high rise loose jean. I really wanted a new pair of black jeans for the fall and the winter time, and I love this shade. It's like a little bit washed. They're very baggy, very loose, and I love the fit of them. I'm also 5'3, so they don't they're a little bit long, but they're not too long. Like they don't go under my feet. Now I can't tell which ones I like. These ones are obviously looser, but I don't know. I wish they had a size 26. They only had a 25 and a 27, so I just grabbed both because I knew I would want either or. Now I don't know, I'm confused. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep the bigger size just because I do like my jeans to be a little bit looser. And also I like how these ones are shorter like the length is shorter and i took off my white shirt underneath to kind of style it i put on my uggs so cute for fall so i will have these linked below just washed my face and put on some comfy clothes i actually just got this in the mail this really cute sweater from free people i saw it on gretchen gary's vlog she just did like a little revolve haul and i was like oh my god that is the cutest sweater and free people has the best sweaters i swear and i got this in a size small it's extremely oversized i could have done an extra small but i didn't know it was gonna be super oversized like this i mean it's still really cute but i love the little quarter zip it's very flowy and they do have like a navy and white combo but i thought this one was cute for the fall time they have it on revolve as well as the regular free people website i got it on free people's website because they had more sizes available i think it's out of stock now on revolve but it's so cute now is when i'm gonna start winding down for the night so we're gonna do face mask sorry my laundry is like so loud i'm gonna do this face mask tonight i haven't done this one in a while the honey potion from pharmacy it like changes color it's so weird like it looks like honey and then when you rub it around on your face it turns white but it's super hydrating and moisturizing so i love this mask a lot my skin feels so supple when i take it off it literally sounds like someone's peeing in my toilet right now the laundry is so loud but i'm gonna make a little winding down drink while i plan my week and look at my planner and everything i got this in my last vlog the sipping chocolate from trader joe's so good it tastes kind of like hot chocolate it just has like a more rich flavor it's not as sweet as hot chocolate but i actually really like it and it's nice to have something warm at the end of the night so i just pour some oat milk and like a little bit of heavy cream to make it on the creamier side in my cute mug this is from anthropology my pumpkin mug i don't have a tea kettle i need to get one so i just put it in the microwave it says the serving size i think it says three tablespoons but i just do two and it's like the perfect amount i feel like three would be too much i'm just gonna take my little frother thing and froth it so it doesn't have any chunks in it 
like the perfect fall drink. It's so yummy. If you see it at Trader Joe's, grab it if you like hot chocolate because it's actually really good. <laughs> Look at Cheeto. You always lay like that. It's so funny. But I'm going to sit at my kitchen table for a bit and grab my planner, light a candle, and just plan my week since I like to do that on Sundays. That way, when I wake up tomorrow, I'm not all discombobulated. So I got my pen, planner, and I'm going to bring my pumpkin souffle candle over here from Anthropology and light this while I sit here. On the couch with my blanket, lit my candle. I'm gonna finish this episode of Gilmore Girls and then watch another one before I start editing my podcast. I'm not really in the mood to edit right now. So I was like, I'll just sit on the couch for a little bit, watch Gilmore Girls and then force myself to edit. I don't know why, but I've just been in like an editing rut with my podcast. So I was like, you know what? I'll watch Gilmore Girls, give myself motivation and then I will start editing, but it's 6.30, so I'm just gonna chill here, end off this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend vlog. I haven't done a weekend vlog in a little bit, so I wanted to film one for you. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next vlog. Some say love is a fire that grows